Match that's class this is another question from 8.2 homework set. Here we're looking for a p value from a c, um, a, a test statistic for a proportion or a z test. Um, that's our level of significance. We want to find the p value and any critical values. All right, the test statistic is this, all right, and the claim is p is less than 0 0.04. Okay, so the p value is anything that's um, as extreme or more extreme than this. So in this case, a p-value is found with normal CDF because we're using Z. Remember, Z is, is the test statistics and the critical values in the standard normal. So we're going to use normal CDF and the p-value. Let me clear all this out. And the p-value is anything as extreme or more extreme than this. So just a visualization here was negative 1.42 and that was our test statistic. The p-value is anything as extreme or more extreme than this. Now because it told us the alternate hypothesis here was, so it says here that we're testing the claim that p was less than 0.04. So this was the test statistic that we got. All right. So the p-value is everything as extreme, meaning where you are, or more extreme, meaning further away from uh, the claimed value. So that's the area we're looking for. Now that area can be found by normal CDF, lower number, upper number. And the lower number here, we just use a whole bunch of nines, right? Because there is no lower number specified, then the upper number is the test statistic. We're looking for a p-value, okay? So there is our p-value, 0 0.0778 to four decimal places, so 0 0.0778. All right, the critical values are determined by alpha, your level of alpha. So again, because we're using a one-tailed test, all of this is, is the area to the left of our critical value, okay, left again, same thing because we are going to the left of something. So um, for this problem, we just found this area to be this. We were told that alpha was equal to 0 0.01. So 0 0.01 is less than this, so that means it would have to be further out in the tail somewhere. So that area, that blue area, is 0 0.01. And because it's further out in the tail, it's a smaller number, it's a smaller area. And so now we're looking for well, what number is this that, that corresponds to 0.01 being in that left tail? Well, the way we do it is just use inverse norm. Inverse norm takes in an area to the left and it spits out the number in the z distribution has that area to the left. So we just type in 0.01 and there's our number, negative, negative 2.33. All right, again, that's because this is saying less than. If it said not equal to, it would have had to have divided that um, 0 0.01 by 2 and used the positive and negative version of this number. Okay, uh, That's for a two-tailed test, but this is a one-tailed test because that's a strictly less than. If it had been not equal to, again, I would have had to divide by 2.